Hey YouTube friends, it's Mrs. Jones here. I'm getting ready for back to school. I know some of you have already started, but I wanted to do a quick video about some cool tools for teachers. Um, going beyond just the pencils and the notebooks and the glue um, and getting into some stuff that's a little bit more expensive for sure, um, but it's something that's gonna help your life out as a teacher immensely. And the first is this, it's an individual pencil sharpener. The best place I know to get these are uh, really good stuff. They have 24 for $16 plus shipping. Um, they are fantastic, they will save your life. Um, it's so nice for those first few weeks of school that not a single child has to go up to your electric pencil sharpener. And it's gonna make your electric pencil sharpener last way longer. And actually, these are much better at sharpening pencils as well. Now, something like this, I have found that some students are really, really tough on them. So one way to encourage your students to take care of them is, first of all, to put their name on them, which is a great idea in case they're dropped. Uh, the second is I switch my desks around every month. So as part of that um, monthly activity that we do, we also clean out their folders and things and wash their desks and do all that good stuff. The other thing I do is I do a pencil sharpener check. Because these are so valuable to me, I appreciate them so much. I will give a small treat, like an M&M or something, to all the students who still have their pencil sharpener. Um, and I do that every month. It's just a, a small little thing, but it makes uh, it makes a difference and it really encourages students to be careful with their things. And even if not every child makes this last until the end of the year, um, it still is going to help a lot. Some kids are able to keep them for the whole entire year. So let's put that over there. This is some school supplies I have ready for students who need it. The next thing is this. This is a Pencil Pal. You can also get this from really good stuff. I actually saw packs of three of these at Walmart recently, and you can get them on Amazon.com. If you want to get like a big class set, Amazon.com and really good stuff are your best places to go. These are a soft, squishy rubber, and you can get them in all sorts of different colors. They stick to the student's desk. And again, it's a tool, if students really use these to secure their pencil all the time, they will not drop on the floor. That means leads aren't going to break. That means they aren't going to lose them. Um, they really are a helpful little thing and they're under, they're about a dollar a piece actually if you buy them uh, in bulk. The next thing, or the last thing in this short little video are these. These are tap and glue caps. And you can get these again in bulk from Amazon, or you can also purchase them from the manufacturer. Sorry, I'm trying to make my phone. Leech Products, um, Hutchinson, Kansas. And they come, when you take them out of the package, they come looking like this. They are a two-part lid that is uh, really easy to put together. So you will need to buy glue bottles, but any size of glue bottle is gonna work. Uh, these are the four ounce kind. They work with the eight ounce kind as well, and I'm assuming they're gonna work with the two ounce kind. Sorry, I have to do this one-handed. But you just take off the normal lid, whoa, without spilling any of the glue, and then this is so hard with one hand, and of course it's my left hand, my non-dominant hand. Just put the glue lid in there, and I flip it over, and we're screwed onto the top. But the nice thing about these is that these will last um, for longer than just a year. So sorry about that. I want to make that nice and tight. So the awesome thing about this, I'm a bit of a glue snob. I cannot stand um, glue sticks. They're extremely expensive. They don't last for very long, and stuff that you glue with them doesn't stick. So if you're doing interactive student notebooks, really liquid glue is the way to go, but of course kids don't know how to portion out their liquid glue. Um, I used to have lessons on how to use liquid glue, and still kids would just end up with a gluey mess. And this came from um, an art teacher that I knew. So the great thing about this is your students can put their glue like this, and it will never ever leak as long as they don't cut this little nubby thing. 
And that's the important part. They, they think that these kind of glues are just a different version of these kind of glues. And for these glues, you do want to sometimes cut into there because your glue will dry. But that's not the case with these. Notice how I can put it upside down. I can even squeeze it. I'm squeezing it right now. And not a drop will come out. So they never, ever leak. You never have to worry about a student have leaking glue all over their desk. The only way this works is if you squeeze and push down at the same time. And that will only release one drop of glue at a time. So this four ounce bottle will last an entire school year. In fact, they'll probably only use about half of it. And then what I do is I get a big thing of glue the next year and fill these up all the way. And again, students use about half. So these are great to be able for students to use liquid glue and yet to conserve their liquid glue and for you as a teacher to reuse something year after year. So thanks for tuning in today for a few hacks of things that you probably are gonna want to use in your classroom. Uh, and they're inexpensive and so helpful. TTFN, ta-ta for now.